Dreadsteed. Summon a 1-1 one, one Dreadsteed. <laughs> uh... So you have a minion until it's silenced? Is this not too slow? <laughs> it's a really cute idea. <laughs> it just feels too slow, no? Oh, this is the Anima Golem. Be pretty cute, but yeah, it's too situational. This is just not good in Arena. I can't, I can't think of a situation other than with Anna Megalum, and that's so specific to epics. Like, no, unplayable. Confuse off the attack and health of all minions. Oh my god, this is crazy. Wait, if you like Divine Spirit decks, Divine Spirit's just getting better and better, I think. Um. Oh, this can't possibly be bad. Like it's slightly situational, but um, I think it's I think it's appropriate in the sense that uh, in the same way that like divine spirit, because divine spirit is situationally like amazing, right? Oh god, this is divine spirit's gonna be so fun. You just like one shot them. I don't know how to rate this because it's kind of like useless in some some areas. I'd say uh, I'd say actually like below average. I think you need to kind of build a build this right. Like, <laughs> when is this really going to be good? When can you really use this and guarantee value for it? I just don't see it. I th I would say it's actually below average. I think it's like I just don't see. I can't I can't think of a situation where I'm like wow this is so good. I don't like it. Card. Yeah, I think I think uh, once again you can build a deck with this, like with Divine Spirit or something. But then you can have so many dead cards. Ugh, it's not what you want in Arena. Astral Communion gain ten mana crystals. Oh my god, this is a Druid card. No, this is bad in Arena, right? Right. How do you catch up after this? This is bad. <laughs> I'm trying to think of when I would play this. I just wouldn't play this. No. I think it's bad. Terrible. Like, the the t instances where it'd be good is are so situational. Eh. Eadric, the pure, change all enemies, minions, attack to one. I think that's insane. I think this is amazing. This is between great and amazing. Helps you recover. This is this is insane. Seven mana three seven stats are fine. All enemy minions attack to one. Yes. I think this is between one and two. Caddis and Jaster. Reveal a minion in each deck if you cost more game of the win. Ugh. Uh, I hate that. I hate this mechanic. I actually hate it. Like, did they win the battle cry? Yeah, you lost, right? Like, it's a zombie chow, suddenly. That's so dumb. I hate this. I actually hate this. Like, I understand it in a constructed sense, right? Because if you play against aggro decks, yours are always going to cost more. But in Arena, it just like, it's so random in Arena. It's just too random in Arena. It's like, good? <laughs> you know, because you don't, you don't know what kind of cards they have. You, like, it's just too, too random. I don't like it. I mean, like, obviously it can win you games just like Zombie Chow. Is it a Zombie Chow or is it a Gold Shower Footman? Which is it going to be? One's really good and one's really shit, so I don't know if I would draft this, like if I had to draft it I would. Like you randomly win turn one. I guess randomly winning turn one is better than not randomly winning turn one. 
I guess it has to be like above it, like good. I guess it has to be good because you could just win, right? I don't know. Fuck. Um, like, I understand the point of this card in Constructed. I absolutely hate this mechanic for Arena. Cut purse. It's just making it more and more random. Like, <laughs> you're just going to be doing dice rolls all game and losing or winning because of it. Uh, there's already too many of them. Whenever this minion attacks a hero, add the coin to your hand. Two minute two two. I mean, it's kind of just like a pint size summoner, right? Like, it's literally pint size summoner with um, a little. That's a little bit better because coin has more flexibility than pint size. So yeah, I think it's a. Uh, I think it's average above average, like slightly above average. Like, it's one of those cards. I mean, do you guys like pint size? Do you think pint size is a good card? It's like you coin out pint size, they can't deal with it, right? And turn two, you play a three drop, and then they play something. Your three drop kills their two drop. Then you fucking play a four drop on turn three, they play something else. And it just kind of snowballs you. But if they can deal with this cut price, I mean, it's a two two. You can't play it against a two three. It's dealt with easily. Like, I think it's bet between average and good for, for rogue. I don't think it's decent. Oh, two and a two two. What are you gonna do? It's not something you can just slam. Um, but yeah, I can randomly win you games. So I don't know how much you value stuff like pint size. Uh, like mech warper is so insane because not only do they have to deal with it if you have a mech, but it's also stat wise so strong. Like again, the coin gives you flexibility for combos and whatever. But mm. healing wave, restore seven health, reveal a minion. Oh my god. Uh, if you have enough card draw, this card is insane. It's like a kill 14. <laughs> this is going to make me rage in Arena. Holy fuck. <clears throat> I think in Arena, if you have card draw, this is going to be really strong. Because... 7 health or 14, the idea is that it heals you, and um, it's just like sustenance. I think it's fine. Honestly, 14 health for 3 is absurd. I think it's, I think it can't be terrible. Like, it's not going to help you on the board, but if you're like, getting beat down, eh? I think, I think with like, slower, eh, I don't know. The question is, like, can you play this and still get the board back? You know what I mean? Like, you can heal for 14 for 3 mana, but if you don't have the board, you're still taking damage every turn. Cards like anti kill bar are, like, you gain 8 health, and you have a 3-3 three, three on the board. This is just, like, you gain health. Like, I don't know how to value that. That's like healing touch. How much do you value healing touch in Arena? Like, you don't value it, right? I don't know. So this makes it so, like, so awkward because it's really bad if you're ahead or even it's like one of those you got beat down you're getting board control and now you've healed up because okay, I don't know I think it's too situational maybe maybe uh, average I don't think it could be below average could it 14 for 3 that's insane like stat wise the idea of it stat wise is insane but like practicality of it probably like average to below <laughs> average sadly and we're just talking arena. Alright. Ice Howl, charge, can't attack heroes. This is great! I think this is amazing. Like, we don't care if it can't attack heroes. It's just trade stuff on the board. It's a 10 10 that lets you trade. I think it's great. Like, it can't go face. You can silence it and then go face. You can make this a taunt. Um, I think it just removes something off the board right away, which is great. I think this is amazing to great, like 1.5 in Arena, because again, board control is mostly mostly what we're worried about. Lance Carrier, give a friendly minion to attack 2 mana 1 2. It's a shitty, uh. It's shitty abusive, Sergeant. I don't know. This card sucks. <laughs> Oh, this card sucks. It's average to below average, 
Light's Champion, Battle Cry, Silence of Demon. Like, they should have made this at least to like a 1 3. A 1 2? You're paying. Ugh, it's crap. I don't like it. Uh, Light's Champion, Battle Cry, Silence of Demon. What? <laughs> Uh, you shit on void colors randomly, I guess. What? Uh, terrible. <laughs> what? It's not terrible. 4 3 for 3. Like, whatever you want to rate that as. What are you silencing? Like, Floating Watcher, Imp Gang Boss, Void Caller. It's, like, very specific. And, um, average? I'd say, like, average. Silence, silence a demon. I don't... Okay. Oh, it's permanent! Give a friendly minion plus two attack. Oh, it's permanent. Oh, it's old Darker and Dwarf! Well, that changes everything. Okay, this card is good. This card is uh, between two and three. right oh my god imagine turn one zombie chow turn to this you have a four three and a one two it's actually not that strong the one two like you can brew it back stuff like that i still don't think it's great i'd still say average i mean i understand this permanent buff it's gonna be insane with like shielded minis but you do have a 1-2 two for 2, you know what I mean? Like, stat-wise, the 1-2 two for 2 is really weak. And you have to have something on the board. I would still say average. I don't think it's good, but it's not as terrible as I thought. Okay. Ronin, Death Rattle, add 3 copies of Arcane Missiles to your hand. 8 mana, 7-7. Seven, seven. Arcane Missiles, it's 9 damage. Oh my god. This, this can't be bad. It's an 8 mana 7-7 seven, seven with 3 copies of Arcane Missiles, which you can combo. Like, can't be bad. This has to be at least good. Good to great. I think between 2 and 3. And for Arena? Because, like, 8 mana 7-7 seven, is a little slow and it has to die for you to get the missiles. You can still get, like, sheeped or silenced or whatever you're dealt with. 3 copies of Arcane Missiles is pretty insane late game because you're just doing 9 damage at least. I would say great. I think it's a great card. I think it's amazing. <laughs> See, Reaver, when you draw this, deal one damage to your minions. Uh, I don't think it has a place in Arena. I mean, it's an ogre. It's an ogre in Arena that deals one damage to your minions. It's gonna randomly screw you. Like, how many acolytes and enrages are gonna have. It's, I hate stuff like this, man. Like, I don't think it's a bad card. I don't, it's, just, it's just weird. Like, how do you build a deck around this in Arena? I'd still say it's between good and great, because it's still an ogre. Like, I think it's probably good. It's an ogre. Like, it's fine if you're behind on the board and you draw it. It's, like, randomly amazing. You put, like, a worgen on the board or acolyte. Ah, good? I'd say it's good. I don't think it's gonna screw you that much. I guess, I guess that would just like freak me out every time, you know? You have like a bunch of one, uh, I don't know. Actually, the more I think about it, the more I think it's between average and good. Like stat-wise, it's great, it's fine if you're behind. It's, it's only really good if you have like Enrages on the board or like Acolytes. Maybe if it was one damage to all minions, it would be a bit better. Okay, I think it's like between average and good. I would still probably play this on Warrior. 6 mana 6 7 can't possibly be terrible. Varian Rin, draw 3 cards, put any minions you drew directly into battlefield. Um, yeah, I would play this. I would play this. definitely play this. This is amazing. This is not amazing. This has to be amazing in Arena. 10 mana, you won the game. Grats. Cool. 
The Mist Caller, give all minions in your hand and deck plus one plus one. Six mana, four four. Wow. <laughs> All minions plus one plus one. I mean, it's a six minute card, but holy shit. Six mana, four four. I still don't think it's that good. You know? Maybe I'm crazy, but I would say this is between average to good. It's so slow. Like, it's one thing if it's give all minions that you own plus one plus one, right? Everything on the board, everything in your hand, everything in your deck. It's another to play this for six mana, have a four four on the board. I just think it's too slow in Arena. Like, the idea of it is crazy, and if you're even in the game, if you're even or winning, it's just like, win more, win way more. But for 4-4, four, four, for 6 mana, like, again, if it were to buff the board, that would be a different story. It doesn't actually change anything for your board state. You're paying 6 mana for this 4-4, four, four, and then you do other things. I don't think it's better than Emperor. I don't know, I maybe I'm crazy, but... It does do plus one, plus one to the deck. I know, I, it does it to the deck. I'm saying the board. Your board state does not change. You're paying six mana for a four, four. Your board state's the same. Your hand gets better, but if you're behind, like you're st you still have to play a lot of catch up. I think it's really not that good. I would say at, at best good. I just don't think it's that good. I'm sorry. It's, this is, the arena is not about the slow game. Arena is not about the combos like this this slow. Arena is about tempo, and this is anti-tempo. It's six mana, man. No, I don't like it. I would say between average to good. It's the final answer. Arcane Blast. Deal two damage to minion. <laughs> uh, only to minions. One mana, deal two. I think this card's just annoying. I think it's... I think it's... <laughs> It's a, it's an epic, first of all. You don't have that many spell damage cards, so we can just treat it like an arcane, like one mana deal two. It's pretty insane with like mana worm or um, stuff like that. Honestly, does mage even need this? I don't think it's that good unless you have spell power. Like I'm looking at this more and more. It's Deal two damage for one mana. Yeah, that's great. But unless you have like mana worms and things to to gain from spells or like Swords Apprentice, where you're just gaining that free spell, I don't think it's that amazing. I think it's good. I don't think it can be bad. I think it's good. Malagos deal twelve damage to a minion. Oh no, in arena you have a Malagos and an epic. Congrats, dude. I don't know. Bear trap. After your hero is attacked, summon a three three bear with taunt. Uh. So do you get hit and then you get the 3-3? Three, three? Or is it, uh... Or is it like you're getting hit for like one damage and instead the 3-3 three, three takes a hit? Hit and then 3-3. Three, three. I'm trying to imagine this. Boom, boom, boom. Ah. Uh, I don't think it can be bad, but it's not great. I just don't like when things aren't in your control, you know? You can't proc secrets on your own. I don't think it can be bad, though. I would say average, man. Let's say average to good, 3.5 at best. Just like, you know what I mean? Like, they attack your face. If they have no way to deal with the 3-3, that's one thing. But often, like, people learn to play around secrets. So at first, I think it'll be like, what the fuck is this? Because they're not used to seeing it. But with time, 
They just hit your face and then they deal with it with like a weapon or something. Oh, I guess it's not that bad. It's 3 3. It's a 3 3 for 2 mana, yeah, but it's not, it's not in play. And it has like an asterisk on it. And once again, it's not like you get to control when it procs and how it procs. Like, if you could just give them a free trade, it's not that great. I mean, I guess it's not terrible. I just don't love it. I'd say I'd say average to good. Final answer. Both ram shield. Whenever your hero takes damage, this minion takes it instead. What? Six mana, three nine. I don't see how this could be good in Arena. I guess 12 stats. I guess it can't be bad either. Hmm. Okay. I think it's... It's a 3-9. I mean, how well is that going to trade? I, I suppose it's not bad. It's 3-9 stats. 12 stats for 6 is fine. <laughs> Three nine. I don't know how to rate this card. It's kind of weird. It's, I mean, it's good if you can like. It's good on priest. <laughs> I don't think it's that amazing. It's just a slow card. Like, are you really happy? You're playing a three nine on turn six. Does that make you happy? It doesn't make me that happy. I'd rather have a six seven. <laughs> I don't know. I'd rather have a 6-6 six, six for t thinking that way. Like, I, I don't know. I just don't think it's that good. I think it's good. I'll, I'll say good because, like, it's annoying. It's 3-9. It has 9 health. But, uh, I, I guess I'm just not too excited about it. I think if it was a 4-9, that'd be a different story, but, eh. Yeah. Bone Guard, Lieutenant. Gain 1 HP for Inspire. I mean, it can't be bad because it's a 3 2 for 2. So, uh. Let's put it at. Good. Let's put it at good. I don't think it's great or amazing. I think it's good. Like, once again, you play it on turn 2, you're fine, you're happy. You play it on turn 4, you do this and you hear it, parts of 3 3, you're not unhappy. Um, but it's not amazing. It's just not that great. I think it's good. Next. Buccaneer, whenever you equip a weapon, give it one attack. <laughs> cute. It's a pirate. Oh, it's cute. It looks like an Oyatron, kind of, in pirate form, doesn't it? Um, whenever you equip a weapon, give it one attack. Uh, it's fine on turn one. I think it's average to above average, unless you have a pirate deck. You're probably not going to have a pirate deck. <laughs> like, it's just a one mana 2 1, can be a 3 1 if you hero power the next turn. I, I don't think it's that good. Let's just say, uh, average. Average or below average. Like, it's just how I, uh, how I rate normal 2 ones. Just average. Like, I would pick it, has a, has a, like, a, can get better, but, meh. Next. Capture Jormunger. 5-9 beast for 7. Ooh. This is better. This is better. Yeah, the stats are insane, but it's slower. I don't think it can possibly be bad. It's 14 stats. It's like one of those crazy cards. Um, it definitely is slower, though. I think it's got to be good. I think this is a good to great card. Um, just, it's like, th this is what I was talking about. Like, when we looked at the 6 mana 3 9, and I was like, eh. 7 mana 5 9? Like, that's going to deal with most 5 and under drops, and it's beefy as fuck. It's got to be, like, good to great. The only reason I think it's good to great is because it's still slow. Like, it's not a sticky mini, and it still gets dealt with with, like, deadly shots and, like, hard removal like that. But, um, they do have to have an answer right? And also, like, this is the kind of card that if you play, they can ignore it, right? Like, they can just be like, fuck that card and just go face. So that's why I don't think it's great or amazing. It's not like something that needs to be dealt with and gets aggro, but it's definitely not bad. I'd say 2.5. Give weapon plus one. Oh, it gives the weapon plus one? 
It's a tutu dagger. Oh. So three mana, two one, have a tutu dagger. Okay, well this is a uh, good to good to great then. Sorry. Thank you. Um I, I still don't think it's amazing, but it's not bad. Like, would you play this on turn one? I probably would anyway. Then they have to deal with it. It's just like a... Kind of like Auto Barber. Like, it's pretty cr cute with um, Assassin's Blade, but that's slow in Arena anyway, you know? Like, all the cards with uh, multiple charges are slower anyway, so I, I just don't think it's that great. <clears throat> a chill mod. If you're holding a dragon, deal three damage to all minions. Oh, that's kind of situational, no? I guess they don't know if you have a dragon, so that's kind of cute. To all minions. I don't think it's that good. <laughs> 7 mana 6-6 six, six taunt. Maybe you get fucked. <laughs> like, uh, 7 mana 6-6 six, six taunt. It's not terrible. I don't think it's that good. Maybe. I guess it's an AoE kind of thing if you have dragons. It's a little slow. It's 7 mana. Uh, I would say good. It can't be. It can't be great. Like when do you play this? It's seven minutes six six. Like it dies. It AOEs. Your opponent doesn't know if you have a dragon or not. It's just one of those cards I'm gonna stare at when my opponent plays. I'm like, do you have a dragon? Because then you have to like go through all the permutations. <laughs> I'll say good. I don't think it can be bad, right? It can't be bad. I think it's good. Let's put three. I don't know. I don't think. I don't think it can possibly be bad. Competitive spirit, secret, when your turn starts, give your minions plus one, plus one. What? That's amazing. <laughs> what? Uh. I think that's stupid. This is way too strong, no? What the fuck? And it's only a rare? This is great to amazing. I think it's 1.5. Like... It's not something you want to play early, actually. It's like a later game secret. When you have board control, you just kind of like are winning more. And worst case, it's like one mana plus one plus one. I think it's broken. <laughs> I think it's broken. I think it's 1.5. God. Ugh. Disgusting paladins. It doesn't even trigger with no minions. Yeah, exactly. Dollar and aspirant? Asp aspirant. Inspire gain spell damage plus one. Uh, it's a mage card, yay. Four mana, three, five, you ping and you get damage and then you flame cannon and that's bullshit. Yeah, this can't be bad. <laughs> mage hero power is so good. I'd say good. I don't think it's amazing. It's slow because you have to hero power, but if you have like flame cannons or something, it's insane. Okay, let's say, uh, let's say good. Dragonhawk Rider, Inspire, gain Wind Fury this turn. Oh. Well, 3 mana, 3 3, you have to deal with it. On Priest, it'd be pretty good. You hit like a 2 3, best case. You heal it, and then you hit another 2 3. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the dream. Uh, 3 mana, 3 3 with an upside. I mean, it can't be terrible, right? It's not very good because there's a lot of 3-4s coming out. I don't think it's that bad. I think it's average. Pretty average. It's, like, cute. If you can't deal with it and you have, like, buff cards or something, it's amazing. But uh, average. It's too situational with all the 3-4s that we've seen. Um, yeah. Stat-wise, it's too weak. Uh, elemental Destruction... Deal 4 or 5 damage to all minions. Oh my god. This with Lava Shock? Disgusting. But it's something you, you do this, and then you play minions. So it's like... And you give up your turn. I mean, I don't think it can be bad. It's like a catch-up card, right? You play this, and then you play something else, and then you hope they're just out of cards. I don't think it can be bad. 
it's amazing if you have a lot of shock, oh my god. But it's all minions, so you're losing your board too. You're like playing this, you wipe out their board, and then you play like a 3-drop or a 4-drop. So it's like flame strike, and then you play something. And then you have, what, let's say that's on turn 7, turn 8, you have 3 mana. You can hex. <laughs> think of things in that way. Um, it's like an oh shit card, which I think shaman do need. Sometimes you just get run over early. I would draft this card. It's kind of like light bomb, you know? Like, it's not good when you are winning on the board, but it's amazing when you're behind. And um, the overload is definitely expensive, but it's flame strike and and it, it's cheap, so you can kind of play it. And something else, I think it's fine. Um, I think it has to be between good and great. Probably great. I mean, it's AOE in arena, but it's epic. Um, reveal a minion in each deck if yours costs more, draw it. I mean, it can't be bad. They know what you draw, which is the weird thing, but I think that's fine. It can't be bad as a hunter deck. Yeah, worst case, it's 3-2. Two. It, one, is a beast for 3-2. Two. two, it might draw a card. This is amazing. I would say this is uh, great to amazing. Like 1.5. It's this is insane. Like what's the downside? It's a beast and it's a beast. Wow. This is crazy. I like it uh, a lot. Knight of the Wild, whenever you summon a beast, reduce the cost of this card by one. <laughs> I mean, if you have beasts, sure. You have plenty of good beasts that you would draft, Haunted Creeper, Drew the Claw, Power of the Wild, uh, the 3 mana 2-5 thingy, Phoenix. Yeah, I think this is great. It's a bit slow. Wait, is this ever, or is it just when it's in your hand? If if this is like in your deck, whenever you summon a beast, reduce the cost. Like, if I've already played 4 beasts and then I draw, is it 3 mana? Or is it only from hand? Oh, it works only from hand? If it's only from hand, I think it's crap. Oh, only from hand is shit. Okay, never mind. I don't think it's good. Ah, uh, I mean, worst case, it's a 7 mana 6-6, six, six, which is still not the worst card, right? I don't think it could be shit. Like, it's slow, but, like, you play one beast at one point, and then I guess it's still slow. Like, it's not something you want in your hand. I, I, I would still say it's good. Because, <laughs> like, you need some late game cards. Sometimes you draw, ah... Uh. I don't know, actually. This is weird. It's a weird one. Maybe... I don't think it can be bad, though. 7 minutes 6-6 six, six isn't terrible, and that's worst case scenario. But I guess you're taking that slot as a dead card. <sighs> Wait, in the show match, it worked from the deck? It's in deck. Oh, it's in deck? If it's in deck, it's crazy! Okay, you guys are crazy then. If it works from deck, then it's crazy good. I would say it's, it's uh, with depending on how many beasts you have, obviously. Like, if you have, like, four beasts, this could be three mana. That's insane. That's insane. I would say it's, uh, again, I don't know what kind of arena deck you've drafted, but, like, there's a lot of solid beasts in Druid, right? Again, Druid the Claw, Power of the Wild, Haunted, I mean, Haunted Creepers and a Druid claw, uh, card, but you still would draft it if you have the chance. The um, three mana, two, five, or five, two... Uh, what else? Are those the main ones? I think those are the main ones, right? Yeah, I, I think this is strong. Really strong, then. I don't know who to believe. If it's uh, if it's from deck, I would say it's um, great if you have beasts. And if you don't have beasts, obviously you don't draft this card. That's it. Okay. But some of mana 6-6, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. 